What's up guys, Rob Arnold here, and looky what I've got today. This is the ESP Eclipse Custom from their 87 series. The 87 was newly introduced in 2020, and the guitars from that series are based off of some cool guitars from their 1987 catalog. Now in 1987, I was seven years old, so I missed that one, but um, pretty cool thing. 15 or so years later, I started making appearances in the ESP catalog myself. I grabbed one here. This one happens to be from 08. And, uh, some custom shop stuff. James and Kirk, the legends. A couple more pages. Ooh, there's that GL56 I like right there. George Lynch, another legend. Tom Araya, Jeff Henneman, Will Adler, Michael Lamott, and look at that mug. Me and Matt DeVries. Pretty darn cool. So just wanted to show you guys that for all the young players out there because I want to be a source of inspiration for you guys to dream big because you just never know what's going to happen. You never know which way the wind is going to blow in life. Cool things can happen. Keep at it. Anyways, back to the guitar. This one, uh, it's got that like telly body, you know, you can see there. And uh, it's funny because a couple weeks ago, I did uh, a review on ESP's LTD MHT from their Arctic Metal series. And the very first thing I talked about was how I thought that guitar was just weighted perfectly, at least perfectly for me. It just felt like really good. This one, however, is a different story. This thing is heavy, super heavy, but that heaviness, you know, it also makes it feel solid, you know, and somewhat like indestructible. It kind of reminds me of a Les Paul. Like, I don't have a lot of experience with Les Pauls. Uh, I haven't played many, but from the couple I picked up, I thought they were just kind of like heavy guitars, you know, and that's how this one happens to feel to me. So pretty cool. It's got a uh, mahogany body. Another thing I'm not very familiar with. I haven't played many mahogany guitars, but so just feeling this and knowing that it's mahogany, I'm guessing that it's a pretty dense material. Um, so therefore, I'm sure it has its benefits. We've got a maple neck with the neck through design. Pretty cool there. Ebony fretboard, 24 extra jumbo frets, 24.75 inch scale. For the hardware, we've got the ESP tuners. I like those. We've got the Floyd Rose 1000 for the bridge and a passive pickup configuration. A couple Seymour Duncans, a 59 in the neck position and a JB in the bridge. We've also got one of these push-pull tone knobs to split the coils. And I'll show you what effect that has on the sound in a little bit. The Eclipse 87 retails at around 1100 bucks. And if you're in the market for one, I certainly recommend it. Now, while this particular style isn't my personal preference, I prefer more of the, the M style, that typical M style body. Um, I could certainly rock this thing all night long. Uh, little Robbie, my son, we talk about cars. He's infatuated with cars and trucks. And I tell him, he asks, why are there so many different types of cars? And I say, there's all these different colors and shapes and styles and different performance packages and how fast they go and whether they're luxury or rugged all those choices so that it matches the taste and preference of anybody out there. You can find whatever type of vehicle you like. And I feel it's the same with the guitars, the shape, the feel, the color, the style, the playability, the neck, just everything like that. There's something for everybody. And I guarantee that there are a lot of folks out there who consider this to be the perfect guitar for them. If that's you, again, I certainly recommend it. So let's give this thing a go and see how it sounds. I'll be testing the different pickup configurations, distorted, clean. We'll run through some stuff. I'm just gonna just freestyle some jams here. Again, through my Valve State VS100 into a Marshall 1960 vintage cab. I'm gonna plug in, rock it out, and I'll join you back here for my final thoughts.
Well, that's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review and demo of the 87 Eclipse Custom from ESP Guitars. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me so that other folks can discover the video too. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and make sure you check out some of my other review videos, my guitar maintenance tutorials, playthroughs, music, Camaro related stuff, and so much more. I've got more reviews on the way as well as a setup video for this guitar here. So stay tuned for that. Cheers guys, appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.